A group of students at DC Everest High School helped spearhead projects to get the conversation started on wellness. That included an entire day they held last week dedicated to mental health. I had the chance to meet with them to hear what they feel are the biggest challenges and what can be done to change it. Here's what they had to say. We've seen multiple tragedies. We recognize there is a problem and we also want parents and teachers to recognize that. I think reaching out to people is just always a better way to make you feel that you're not alone. <laughs> Teens have a lot going on. The social media and sports and clubs and uh, extra hours of homework after school is done. Work and jobs. Like parents, they don't understand that the curriculum has changed, classes definitely got harder. Leaving many feeling more than just stress. I think that it's very important that we bring a light to not only depression and anxiety, but also to um, comorbid, you know, mental disabilities like autism and ADHD. There's a lot more students ever since COVID that have started to get depressed. Studies show teen mental health had been declining in recent years. The pandemic sent it spiraling out of control. I think that there's been no consistency in our lives for the last couple years, and that's hard because there's no balance. It brought changes in education for students during a difficult time. Like online school was easy for many and it was really hard for a lot of us. The high school years are a time when many struggle to figure out who they are and how they fit in. Many were met with isolation and the loss of milestone moments, staying connected through sometimes toxic social media. Like that ties into it because we feel like we have to be making a social impact and be putting our best selves out there. Reaching out when they need help can be challenging. How most students struggle very internally where it's very hard for us to maybe express our emotions outwardly or show that we are struggling because we're afraid to ask for help. Not only for themselves. And another thing is knowing when a friend asks you for help or when a friend tells you something that they're having uh, bad thoughts or something uh, something such as that, uh, what, to, what they can do to help a friend. <laughs> Guidance counselor Brooke Davis says kids need to know they have someone they can share their feelings with. And it is building the trust, and it's building trust with adults in the building. It's about building trust with some adult in your life, whether it's a teacher, a parent, but somebody that you can turn to. It's a conversation that could be a lifesaver. But just listen and just be there. It is a really good feeling that you have, know that there's people that you can talk to but I definitely do think that it's a lot of practice and it does take a little bit of time.